In Lie, players bid and bluff over several rounds of speculation to be the last player remaining in the game. There are 30 cards in the game, each with a die face on the top and on the bottom. There are 10 of each of the 6 die faces in the game. A game is played over the course of many rounds and players will need to rely on intuition, bluffing, and player signals in order to win. Each round, players simultaneously draw cards, then decide which dice they'll use for bidding. Then, a sequence of player bids may occur in clockwise order until a bid is challenged and resolved. There will be a winner and a loser to each challenge, then the game round sequence will repeat until only one player is remaining in the game. The game round consists of the following steps. First, place all cards face down in a shuffled mass of cards, not stacked, in the center of the playing area and mix them together thoroughly. Second, each player draws cards into their hand, keeping them hidden. At the beginning of the game, each player will draw five cards, but as the game progresses, players will be penalized for losing challenges and will draw less cards each round. Once players have drawn cards, they secretly choose which dice they want to use for the round. Players may choose several dice of the same value or have a diverse hand of different values. A player makes this choice for each card they hold and signifies this by rotating each card so that the chosen die is on top as they look at it vertically. Once all players have chosen, the bidding starts and the orientation of the cards may not be changed. The third step in each round is the bidding and challenge phase. Players may find it helpful to verbally confirm that their hand is set to ensure that all players have their hands ready prior to the opening bid. The oldest player makes the opening bid. For all other rounds, the winner of the previous round makes the opening bid. The opening bidder begins the round by announcing the initial bid. Once the opening bid is made, players take turns in clockwise order. When it's a player's turn to bid, he must either make a new bid or challenge the previous bid. In order for a player to take the appropriate action on his turn, he must try to determine whether or not the previous bid, which is a quantity of dice, exists among all players' hands collectively. If the active player feels that the previous bid is unlikely to be proven, he may choose to challenge the previous player's bid. However, if the active player feels that the previous bid is likely to be shown amongst all players' hands, then he may want to make a new bid instead. A proper bid is a quantity and then a die number. Here's an example of a sequence of bids. Three fours, three fives, four twos, five twos, five sixes, six ones. On a player's turn, he must do one of two actions. The player may bid a higher quantity of any die number or the same quantity of a higher die number. Or the player may challenge the previous bid by announcing lie. If the active player chooses to bid, then the next player in clockwise order takes a bidding turn. If the active player chooses to challenge the previous bid, then all players show their hands. Players count only the die numbers on top of the cards. A bid challenge will result in a winner and a loser. If the total amount amongst all players is less than the bid that was challenged, then the challenger was correct and wins the round. If the total amount amongst all players is equal to or greater than the bid that was challenged, then the challenger was incorrect and loses the round. The winner will gain the right to start the next round of bidding, and the loser must draw one less card than he had in the previous round. Play continues clockwise with each player taking a bidding turn, possibly forcing some players to take an additional bidding turn in the round. After a challenge is made and resolved, all cards are returned to the center of the table and another full game round occurs. Play continues until there is one remaining player in the game. The last remaining player, which is the player that may draw at least one card during the next round, is the winner. Here are a few examples. Player A bids four fives. Player B bids four sixes. Player C bids five sixes. And player A calls lie on player C. When all players show their hands, we see that there are only four sixes, which is less than player C's bid of five sixes. Player A wins the challenge and starts the next bidding round, and player C will draw one less card in the next round. Player A bids five fours and player B calls lie on player A. When all players show their hands, we see that there are at least five fours. Player A wins the challenge, player B will draw one less card in the next round.